What's going on guys, Malt here. So today we are back with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro with the G90T chipset and 6 gigs of RAM. So we're gonna try out today the Citra 3DS emulator for Android. This is still in a alpha phase, so no official release there yet. Nevertheless, we're gonna try out one of the most beloved games for the 3DS, which is Pokemon X. So of course, um, or Pokemon Y this time. <laughs> um, so of course you have to own uh, basically the physical copy as I had a quite outstanding big 3DS collection way back then I, and I still have that somewhere. Um, you really gotta flash your game into the BIOS and so on. But nevertheless, we're gonna try out if the chipset handles this game um, or how it handles and so on. Okay, what, what I'm gonna change is here the aspect ratio, um, which will be, let's take large this time. So we do have some options where we can adjust the um, screen, the touch and the game screen itself. The FPS is on the top left corner here. I already skipped ahead and start the game. And yeah, basically it's uh, really laggy. Um, as well, the sound is really choppy. So we average, average somewhere around five to six, seven FPS. Um, which I wouldn't tell is or wouldn't say is playable um, Maybe if you have a lot of time on your hands and If you can bear the lagginess You probably can play it But I really don't recommend doing so I wouldn't have time on my hands to basically wait through the cutscenes and everything You'll probably get a little bit of, of a better experience with um, higher spec devices, but I do think that the biggest fault here is with the emulator itself, not with the system, not with the chipset. And I think those guys at Citra still need to optimize their app quite a bit for each um, game itself.
So yeah, people, I'll wrap this video up. Um, <laughs> as you guys can um, see, this is really not playable at all. Um, we are, like mentioned in the beginning, hovering somewhere between 3 to 6, 7 FPS, um, which is really not um, playable, at least for me. Um, but nevertheless, if you want to try it out for yourself, like mentioned, uh, give it a go. Maybe your higher spec device uh, will perform better, but I still think that this Android app has to catch up quite a bit for each game, especially Pokemon. Um, nevertheless, thank you a bunch for watching and see you around.